I've got a fantastic dish that really plays on your taste receptors. It's my marmalade and soy sauce that goes with some duck breast. The marmalade is really, really sweet. Soy sauce is quite salty and I'm using some grapefruit which has got a real bitterness to it. Now I've got a pan that I'm just about to put on the heat. You don't want it to be too hot to start with because we want to render off the fat so it can go on now. With our two lovely duck breasts here, I'm just going to pat them dry so we can get a little bit of that crispy skin and we don't want excess moisture in our pan. And now I'm going to score them and we'll go one way turn the duck around and then we'll go the other way. Now be really careful when you're cutting into the duck breast. You don't want to go all the way through to the flesh. Just cutting the fat, flipping that over and then crisscross with a sharp knife. Now we need to season this, so a little bit of salt on the skin and a little bit of cracked pepper. So skin side down into that pan there. And now season the other side of the duck. So we want to leave this for about three to four minutes on this side. Turning up the heat slowly just gives the skin the opportunity to go golden and render away most of that fat. Into a bowl, I want three tablespoons of marmalade, just your standard store-bought marmalade, or if you've made your own marmalade at home, even better. And we need even amounts of sweetness to saltiness, three tablespoons of this soy sauce in. So that is ready to go. This is probably one of the easiest sauces that I've ever done with duck. Now I'll just leave that for a moment and let's go and have a look at this duck. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for, golden colour. And you can see there's a lot of fat that's rendered off there. I'm going to remove that now. Just be really careful. Just take that out of the pan. You can actually cool that down and place it in the fridge and you can use it to roast veggies. And now for this sauce, we're just going to turn the heat off and I'm going to pour that sauce into the pan. Oh, yum, it smells just delicious. Now I've preheated my oven to 200 degrees and we're going to cook the duck for about six to eight minutes. I love cooking duck this way because we're going to get a perfect even cooking and it means our sauce won't burn. duck is rested so I'm taking it out of the pan and we can finish the sauce. You can see when we put the sauce in it was quite thick but now it's really thin so we do want to reduce it even more. Now I've just placed a tea towel over the handle because it's so hot when it comes out of the oven you don't want to burn yourself so have this on from the moment it comes out to the moment you finish off the sauce. I love the combination of ruby grapefruit and orange. You can use all different types of grapefruit for this. You could use blood orange also. A combination of a few citrus fruits really looks fantastic, but also the taste of it is great too. Look at the colour of that, so gorgeous. So we'll just take a few segments out here and I'll also take a few segments out of my orange. So we'll take about three or four beautiful segments there. And I'm also going to squeeze some of the juice in here. Now have a look, this is really turning into a caramel now. Let's warm up the segments in the sauce here. Just be careful because it's quite hot. And just squeeze some of that fresh orange juice and fresh grapefruit juice in there. Perfect. One last stir and let's plate up. Now this skin is so crispy and yummy. That's what I love most about duck breast. And I'm just going to cut it on an angle. And I've got some roasted duck fat potatoes here. So I'm just going to arrange that duck breast just next to the potatoes. Beautiful. We'll place a few of those segments around the plate there. You know, it's sort of a take on the duck a l'orange, the very classic and probably one of the most famous duck dishes there is out there. And then that sauce will just drizzle around the plate. And if you can get your hands on some baby herbs, then add it, because it looks so fantastic. This is baby shisho which has a really nice taste to it too, so it's not just for the look. 
and I'll just sprinkle them on top. That, for me, is a really pretty dinner party dish, if you like. In the sauce, we've got soy sauce, marmalade, and some citrus fruits. Super easy, and the taste is just fantastic. Mm -hmm.